the best tip I can give you guys about building a boat is to go ahead and sell your house and move as close as you can to a Lowe's or a Home Depot. Cause you're gonna make at least 82,000 trips to get crap you didn't know you're gonna need. And every boat is different. So it's not like you can plan ahead. Today, I'm going to attempt to paint this boat. But first, I gotta go to Home Depot. All right, it's time to paint this old boat. And I will not bore you guys with having to watch me prep this boat, but I will say that prep is key. If you're wanting the paint job to turn out good, spend as much time as you can on your prep work. The more prep you do, the better chance you'll have a paint job turning out good. Uh, it's boring, it sucks, it's a lot of work, it can be a lot of work, but the end result will be worth it, hopefully. Now, what I've done with this boat, uh, y'all saw me do the bottom of it, of course, in the video to get it ready for the glove it. I did that same thing with the sides. I went ahead and sanded both sides and the back of the boat down with a little mouth sander. And then I washed the whole boat down with soapy water. Then I wiped the whole boat down with acetone and then applied glove it to all the rivets and welds that are below the water line. Uh, after it cured for about a day, I took a mouse sander and went ahead and sanded down all the patches of glove it just to allow the paint to stick to it a little bit better. Then I washed the whole boat down with soap and water again, followed by denatured alcohol. And the reason I'm using denatured alcohol is because I changed brands of paint this time and we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, after the denatured alcohol, I went ahead and wiped the boat down with acetone. So, uh, we are ready to paint it. Uh, once you do your prep work, as far as cleaning the boat, uh, you need to go ahead and paint it as soon as possible. Uh, don't prep your boat, you know, do the acetone and then paint it the next day. Uh, you want to do it ASAP. Anything, just crap can fall on your boat. It might look clean, but to have the best chance for your paint to come out, go ahead and get that paint on there as quick as you can. Now, as far as the paint, um, I've been very happy with the Lumahawk. I've used it on two of the boat builds so far, but the reason why I didn't use it this time is because uh, they didn't have the paint I wanted, at least not in aluminum boat paint. They might have it in some other uh, gallon, I don't know, but at least in the paint that I've used by them in the past, they didn't offer in the color that I'm painting this boat. That being said, this time I'm using Total Boat Aluminum Boat Paint because I want the khaki color. Um, I'm gonna do a camouflage on this boat like I did the very first boat build uh, last spring. That boat, I don't know if you remember or not, um, it was like an olive drab green base and this one's gonna be a khaki colored base. Uh, it'll be a little bit more like bottom land, like my shirt I'm wearing right now. But Total Boat, is not very cheap. I want to say that a Lumahawk is around 80 bucks for a gallon. And this stuff, I could be wrong. I'll correct myself on the screen. I want to say it was like 120 bucks for this gallon of paint. And I hope that I can get good coverage with it because I do not want to have to buy any more paint because that is, uh, that's expensive. So I'm hoping that it turns out good. But I mean, if you do searches, your total boat is the paint that pops up first for boats. So. I'm hoping it does good. And I'd also like to say that this paint is actually, it's a, it's a top side paint. Uh, I didn't really do the research like I probably should have, but I believe when you have bottom paint, that is really for the bottom side of boats that stay in water for a really long time. Like if your boat is being harbored in a marina. Uh, with this John boat, I think it'll be fine. Uh, if not, I guess I will find out or Whoever buys the boat will find out. But anyhow, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is correct. I actually thought about doing a coat of just Rust-Oleum on the bottom of this just for an added layer of protection, but I just kind of decided against it because I didn't know how the paint, the two different paints would, would mesh together. And I'm actually glad that I didn't. I assumed that this Total Boat paint was oil-based, but it is a water-based latex or or something because it says that you can thin it down with water. Unlike a Lumahawk where it suggested to use MEK for thinner. 
I don't know. This is gonna be a trial and error for me, I guess. I hope it turns out good. Uh, it seems kind of weird to paint a boat with latex or water-based paint, but like I said, I mean, they're number one name in boat paint, at least as far as I can see, and I haven't really uh, read anything bad about them. So I'm hoping for the best. And I've done all my prep work, and uh, it's time to get to work. Let's, uh, let's do this thing. All right, the first coat's gone. It's about three or four days later. It's finally warm enough to put the second coat on. You guys can probably see that that first coat coverage didn't do too much. But the good thing about it, I have a lot of paint left. So hopefully, hopefully two coats will do it. If not, we definitely have enough for a third coat. I just don't have to do that much more work. But Total Boat says to between the first and second coat to sand it down with 220 grit sandpaper and then wipe it down with acetone again. So let's get to it.
Alright, it's the next day, and this is two coats. It covered pretty good and actually laid down really well. You can't see any rolling marks. But, like back here, I don't know if y'all have noticed in previous videos of this boat, but like somebody laid something over here at one time, used the boat as a sawhorse and painted something white, and it's not wanting to cover it too good. So, I think one more coat should do it up pretty nice. It, all these little dents really jump out on this thing now. I'm, I'm glad that I decided to do this paint instead of like painting it like with a gun because anything with any kind of gloss to it would uh, really make this thing jump out. Not to mention, when I lay the camouflage on here, you, know, you ain't hardly gonna be able to see any of those dents. But if you're wondering, like is, the lighting in here sucks in my garage. If you're wondering like what uh, the sheen on this paint, it's basically just like a brand new boat. I mean, I almost want to say it's like semi-gloss. It's a little bit more than matte, and it's definitely not flat. And actually, I don't know, maybe once I get it out in the in the sunlight, which if you look at it from back here, it kind of looks more khaki, but that's what I was fixing to say, is it looks like it's got a little bit more green to it than just khaki, in my opinion, especially in here in the lights. So maybe, maybe it will look a little bit more beige in natural light. You can see how it kind of looks like it's turning green in here so maybe it is just the lighting all right uh this this dry this the second coat dried a lot faster i don't know if it was the weather outside or if it was just because it was on top of the other paint I, i'm not sure probably the weather but anyways let's go ahead and do one more thin coat uh since it don't have any roller marks in it uh, i think i can kind of get away with a little bit with this paint so that's good so i'll try to do a quick coat that way it can be dry we start uh doing a camo on it all right, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me paint this boat for a third coat, but this is it. After the third coat, it uh, very good coverage, I'd say. Little disappointed that it took three coats because that kind of was a lot of work, but it turned out pretty nice in my opinion. It laid down smoother than the Alumahawk, and it used less paint. Uh, three coats on the outside of this boat, which this boat is only it's a 13 and a half by 36, but uh, it only used about a quarter of a gallon. The other two boats I painted with the Lumahawk was uh, 1436s and two coats basically got me right at half a gallon. Now Lumahawk is a lot thicker. You could probably thin it down with the MEK like it suggests and get a little bit further, but then again, uh, would you have to do three coats? I don't know. The only really knock I want to give it other than it took three coats, it's got a little more sheen to it than I would really want. It's like a semi-gloss. Most of that's going to get covered up with the camo anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But just to let you guys know, if you're interested in this paint, uh, all their aluminum boat paint, I believe, says it has the same finish. Uh, they call it like a matte, but this, in my opinion, this is a little bit more than a matte. I would use this paint again for sure but only if I, they have the color I want. To be honest, I like a Lumahawk a little bit better. Uh, you know, durability wise, who knows? Maybe this stuff is a lot better in the long run than a Lumahawk, but price and coverage, I will go with a Lumahawk on my next boat if, you know, I can do it in a color of Lumahawk. But I think, you know, I'm getting set up to really, to spray boats, so I might totally get away from this rolling method. I know this boat is, is is really making it look beat up with this semi-gloss finish to it, but uh, I don't wanna take it away from rolling this paint on. It did a really good job. And these rollers I got from Harbor Freight, this is them right here. It's a Vonte four inch, half inch foam roller. It says smooth to semi-smooth surfaces. I think they had uh, some with different naps on it. But this is the, the foam one that says smooth, the semi-smooth surfaces. Did really good. Uh, this paint laid down really well. I will say that uh, it, it is, uh, it's probably smoother than the Lumahawk paint. But like I said, you could probably thin a Lumahawk down if you wanted to with MEK and get the same you know, finish to it. I think the paint did really good and I'm happy with it. And only time will tell on its durability and hopefully that'll be up to someone else to figure it out because I need to sell this boat so I can do another one. Well, all right, I kind of want to do this video of painting the boat and doing the camo, but I'm running a little long. So I'm going to cut this one 
short now and tomorrow i'm going to get started on the camo and we'll pick it up from there i appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you on the next one